What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is basically an update video on the 850, all the parts we got ordered. And also, I am buying another snowmobile, so we're going to talk about that. Um, that's mainly probably going to be the main topic of this video is the second sled I'm buying. Um, also, we're going to update you guys on what's going on with the 850. Obviously, as you guys can see, it is home. It is sitting in the garage. Super stoked to have it home. That means that there's going to be some work being done to it soon, so let's get right into it. Quick announcement, I'm going to be at the Milwaukee Snow Show Saturday, October 18th. If you guys are there and want to like meet up with me, say what's up, or you see me, don't be afraid to say what's up. Just like DM me, Snapchat me, whatever, let me know you're there and you want to say what's up. And now into the video. All right, so first and foremost, let's talk about the new sled. This is what I'm super excited for. I'll give you a reason why I'm buying it and a hint of what I'm getting. I'm not going to reveal what I'm getting yet because I'm not 100% getting it this weekend. I'm not 100% sure that it's going to be everything I think it is. But I am buying a second sled. The 850 is not going anywhere. I'm keeping it. It's staying. Obviously, like, why would I get rid of this? I love this sled. We're not getting rid of it. But I am buying a second sled for a few reasons. One reason is I've kind of always wanted one of these. Second reason is my girlfriend is getting into riding this year. So I figured why not buy a second sled for her to ride and also something that I know I would ride and enjoy. The third reason is also it's good for the channel. We can make videos on it, talk about it, ride it. All that kind of stuff. I've been debating between do I do another RMK? Do I go like the switchback route? Do I go like a pure trail sled? So I've been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Little hint, it is a switchback sled. I'm not going to tell you which switchback, track length, or any of that, but it is a switchback sled. Super stoked. I am going to look at it Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, hopefully. So I'm really excited for that. And obviously, I'm going to vlog the whole thing. And if we get it, you'll see a sled review video. But I am not going to do a sled reveal video until I hit 8,000 subscribers. So we are about 60 away. And if you guys want the sled reveal video next week, I need to see 8,000 subscribers before I drop it. I know you guys are going to want to see a sled. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be another project sled. Like this is a project sled. It's just, you know, moving a little slow right now. But this is a project sled. We're going to have two of them. And the sled is going to be basically my Illinois, like, round home ditch banger. It's, like, going to be my... It's, a beater sled in a way but it's not a beater sled it's basically just for straight ripping around here when we get six inches of snow because i know you guys hate it when i take this out in six inches of snow but honestly i love doing it so whatever right, go ahead and comment down below what you think my second sled is going to be two hints it's a switchback and it's not your average switchback it's something a little more fun and a little more special i'm gonna see if you guys get it comment down below what you think and i'm gonna see how many guys get it right i feel like a lot of you guys already know what i'm gonna choose but um let's see so uh, yeah comment that down below Updates on the 850. I know a lot of you guys saw the wrapping 850 video. Finally, after three weeks, my wrap is confirmed. I finalized the design. It took a while to get exactly what I wanted, but it is finalized and ready to go. I am not going to show you guys the wrap yet. I'm going to wait till it comes in, but I will give you a couple hints. It's going to be lime, obviously, because everything else on the sled is lime, so why would I go with something like red? It wouldn't make sense. So it's going to be a base color of lime, and also I know a lot of you guys voted on the video purple, so it is lime and purple. Um, I have mixed feelings about wrapping the sled, to be honest now. Like, now that it's back home in the garage and I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's beautiful the way it is. Like, why do I want to rip these decals off and put a wrap on it? But I'm also like, lime and purple is pretty dope. It's going to look sick. So, um, yeah, mixed feelings on that. But I know once I see the wrap in person and I have it in my hands, I'm going to want to put it on. So once the wrap gets here, the plan is once the wrap gets here, we are going to obviously do a full install video on it. We're going to do probably two to three parts of the strip down of all the decals I'm prepping, then the install of the wrap, and then probably once I have everything on the sled I want to put on it, a whole sled reveal. But you guys will see it like piece by piece by piece, and then I'll do a whole reveal video talking about everything done to the sled and going over it. We have the Jaws can sitting over there that we still have to put on. We have the GGB can up in the attic that we are not going to be running anymore. I'll explain why in a future video, but no more GGB for me. I'm going to try Jaws out. I need new skis. I messed up my ski. Not this one, that one. I, um, I don't know what I hit. I hit something and it like frayed the plastic way to the point where it's like all buckled and it's kind of like bent now. So I got to get new skis. Still up in the air on that. I want CNAs, but like, I don't know. Should I just rock some grippers again? Get some more grippers and keep my stock player skis? Because all I need to do is get one. One's messed up. The other one's A-OK. -okay. So I don't know if I should drop the money on the CNAs or if I should just replace one ski and be done with it. Let in the comments below if you guys like CNA even. I've never even ridden them, so I'm not too sure if I even want to spend the money on something that I don't know if I'm going to like. Obviously, I know I like the grippers, so I might keep them. I'm not too sure yet. Clutch kit. I've been thinking about doing a clutch kit on this sled for a while now, and I feel like I want to do it, but I don't know. Like, I've never experienced a clutch kit before. I've never had one, and I don't know anyone that's had one. 
So if you guys have had experience with a clutch kit, tell me what it's like, especially on these slides. I've tried looking up videos and doing research. I can, basically, all I wanna know is, does it help the front end pop up more? Cause I want more ski lift on this. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna be able to wheelie a little bit. Like this slide doesn't wheelie much and I know like it's not meant to wheelie. So don't get me in the comments for that. I know it's not meant to wheelie, but I would like the front end to pop up a little bit more. So I was wondering if the clutch is gonna help or not. Obviously I'm new to the clutching world on sleds. So help me out, comment down below if I should get a clutch kit, if it's gonna like help me do what I want, or it's gonna be a waste of like $500 for me. The thing I wanna to add to this sled, which I just came up with recently, is a tether. I don't have a tether on this, and I feel like I should probably have one, just because, just for safety reasons, I should probably put a tether on it. So that'll probably be coming soon. Uh, I was also looking at doing new front and rear bumpers, still up in the air on that, I'm not too sure. The rear one's cool because it's lime, so I don't know if I wanna change it. The front's a little boring because it's black. We'll see how it blends with the wrap. If it doesn't fit in with the wrap, we'll probably do a new bumper, but for right now, it's gonna stay the way it is. This is a quick, like, kind of boring, but just quick update video on everything going on with the new sled I'm getting, the 850 that we got here, and just about everything else we got going on here on the channel. All right, that's a wrap on today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I didn't with the top down, yeah. I'm with my shorty, she gon' drop down, yeah. I'm on a high, I'm feeling way up, yeah. I'm in that new fit, looking like.